This is the instructional video for a two-point calibration of a Beckman 340 pH meter. Before you begin, make sure you have the following items. A pH meter and stand with a temperature and pH probe. Deionized water and a waste beaker. Some Kim wipes and two different pH buffer solutions. Turn on the pH meter by pressing the on button at the bottom of the instrument. If the temperature probe is not connected to the instrument, plug it into the appropriate port at the back. As this is done, the screen should change from reading no ATC to reading ATC, and an accurate temperature for your solution should be displayed. Remove the bottle of electrode storage solution from the end of the pH probe and rinse both probes with deionized water. Then blot them dry with a Kim wipe. Make sure you also remove the black tape covering the vent hole on the pH probe. Press CAL, then CLEAR and CLEAR again on the instrument to remove the values of any past calibrations. Place both probes in either one of the buffer solutions and swirl the container to get rid of any air bubbles around the end of the probe. Let the probe sit in the solution for approximately one minute before pressing the read button. The correct value for the pH buffer solution you are using should eventually appear on the screen. You will know that the reading has stabilized when the eye icon below the pH has stopped flashing and the correct value of the buffer solution is shown on the screen. Remove the probes from the first buffer solution, rinse them with the ionized water, and blot them dry with a Kim wipe before moving on to the next buffer solution. Place the probes in the second buffer solution and swirl the container to remove any bubbles from the ends of the electrodes. Again, leave the probes in the solution for about a minute before pressing read on the pH meter. Press read and allow the pH value to stabilize. The same as before, this is indicated when the eye icon below the pH measurement stops flashing and the correct pH is shown. If no eye icon is shown, press auto before pressing read. When the value is stabilized, press CAL to exit calibration mode. 
The instrument is now calibrated and this should be shown on the screen. From now on, pressing read will allow you to measure the pH of any samples you need to analyze. Recalibration should not be necessary. When you are finished using the instrument, rinse the probes and blot them dry. The instrument can also be turned off whenever you are finished using it. Replace the electro storage bottle on the end of the pH probe and put the black tape back over the vent hole of the pH probe.